We will, you know, if you understand the, the why behind why we need to create ISACs, right? If you look at cybersecurity as the nature of cybersecurity mm -hmm. has a very adversarial kind of model. The fact is that there are groups, that are, there are people out there, threat actors out there who are trying all their means to exploit you. Mm -hmm. And they are not just doing that by themselves, they are sharing information among them. Mm. They are sharing all the techniques as long as it makes it mm -hmm. work. Even opposition part, even different parties who have never worked before come together to share. The question here is, why shouldn't the defenders, the, the so-called targeted victims, That's why right. aren't we sharing information? Mm -hmm. Because our adversary mm. on the other part is sharing. And then why aren't we? So that's the first question. And then the next question, but, uh, and, and, and this alludes to, you know, ISAC becomes that safe harbor, that platform mm -hmm. for the organizations or the different uh, parties with vested interests, the different business line, come together to share. Because their common goal is how do we then mm -hmm. exchange information to reduce the risk that caused by this tractor. Mm -hmm. So I think um, info sharing platform has been uh, overwhelmingly useful. I, I think the basic uh, sharing of information, uh, you know, looks at the strategic uh, threat landscape, cyber incidents and vulnerabilities, uh, threats and vulnerabilities, mm -hmm. and uh, also technical indicators of compromise. Uh, but most uh, valuable than indicators of compromise is the tactics, techniques, and procedures mm -hmm. of the uh, threat actors. Because uh, if you stop those uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures, uh, you would actually uh, prevent that uh, threat adversary. And they have to reinvent the wheel and come up with different tactics, techniques, and procedures, mm -hmm. which is their modus operandi. Mm -hmm. So we share those as well, uh, contextualize uh, to the different environments, uh, 11 critical information infrastructure. And uh, as you mentioned, best practices, uh, we just had the OT ISAC Summit conference, uh, and there was a lot of sharing of best practices, That's right. which the attendees can actually take back and adopt within the organizations. The final question for the day is, you know, what does success look like from an information sharing point of view? So I start with you, sure. since you are to my right. I think to me, the success look like, we to, I look forward to the day where we can really have diverse views. Okay. Even really there are, you know, conflict. Conflict in the sense of conflict of ideas, mm. conflict of implementation approach mm. between the different parties. Okay. I think, uh, and you know, from the audience perspective, we get the most to, out of it if we have different views and, and uh, more people can step forward to share, even if it's from the victim's perspective. Right, right. I, I think that's the a day, difficult yes, part. If the victims can come out and say, I'm a victim, I'm here to share what worked well for me, what didn't, I think that would be the day we can give a, you know, a pat on our shoulder Maybe and say, Maybe you we can get rid of the traffic light protocol that will get everybody <laughs> to share on your ground. It takes and more. And, guys will get the information and, and well. it depends on the culture, That's true. Right? right? It depends on the culture. So, so I think the day we, we can have this diversity and victims coming forward to share, yep. I think we'll have, that, that's, that, that, right. that's yeah. more successful. More case studies, yeah. 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 What about Looking you, what do you think? Four, four years ago, uh, when OTI SAC was set up, and uh, today, I think a lot has uh, actually uh, progressed in terms of uh, the willingness uh, of, uh, the uh, stakeholders, the engineers, or the uh, mm. asset owners and operators to actually consider uh, looking even at this topic of uh, OT cybersecurity. All right, okay. And uh, I think to me, success, uh, besides, uh, I think I agree with uh, Tianjin about uh, information sharing of the uh, uh, cyber incidents um, to help other members uh, within the community to actually take the steps to protect themselves against the same threat. It's about um, looking at best practices and uh, having a rich uh, uh, community, uh, asset owners, operators, the OEMs, OT uh, solution providers, um, mm. a system integrator, and uh, certs, uh, government agencies and non-government agencies as well uh, to share information. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you mentioned regulations, uh, regulators as well. Uh,